Hi, welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll be going through how I will edit this image. This is an image I shot today in the studio uh, at f21 of 200 shutter speed, ISO 100. With generate. This shoot was um, inspired by Lindsay Adler's use of gels for beauty shoot. So, um first things first i'll check my white balance um i think this is nice for me i always use the white balance of 500 steady and probably this should come up a little yeah plus six is fine for me yeah this is perfect so the next thing I want to do is increase my highlights because I like my highlights for beauty shoots. I think 21 is fine. I don't want to tamper with the shadows. The shadows are what makes this image more interesting. So next thing I want to do is do no grading now. I'll open this image in Photoshop while it opens an image. Yeah. So. The first thing I do after opening this image is crop for Instagram. So the normal ratio for cropping is 4 ratio 5. Press C on your keyboard for the shortcut for cropping. Then I'll just press this up. Yeah, I think this is nice. Yeah. No, 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 no. I guess. Okay. I think this is nice. I can still work with this. Yeah, beautiful. So now the next thing I want to do is remove all these blemishes, these um, lines on the image to clean up the image. Yeah, I just want to clean up the image. There are different, um, several ways to clean up the image. The first thing I want to do now is clean the background. Then after cleaning the background, I'll come into cleaning the blemishes on her face. So how do I clean my background? I pick my patch to Ctrl G to duplicate the layer, then pick where the extraction is, then clean. Okay, yeah, I think that's that for the background. Though I'll still have to smoothen it well, but that will be later. So the next thing now is working on the skin, removing the blemishes. So how do I remove my blemishes? Let me match this. So how do I remove my blemishes? I create a new empty layer, pick my healing brush to make sure my sample is set to current and below so it can sample from the background layer to this. Then I zoom in. Now let me show you a trick. Normally all my edits, I do all my edits zoomed out like this. But for beauty, I tend to go more deeper, like zooming to work with beauty. Now, there's no way I would work with this zoomed out version that I won't have to be going back to see what I'm doing. So the best thing I do now is come to my windows, arrange new window for the file. To create a new window for the file, then go into your windows again, arrange, then two up vertical let me close this so whatever i do on this side of the image will affect this side if i pick my brush now 
and draw on this, it will also reflect on this. The only it will reflect on this. So it gives me the flexibility of working in a zoomed um, zoomed way, then seeing what I'm doing zoomed out. So let me just remove my blemishes. Pick your brush too. Then alt to select, then paint. Alt to select, paint. So I'll just skip this area for you guys. So I won't have to bore you with this stick around please Okay, so welcome back. This is, I'm done with the cleaning. So this is the before, after. Before, after. Let me zoom this one out. The before, the after. We've cleaned um, the, we've removed the blemishes. This is the blemishes I removed from a skin. So, the next thing I want to do now is soften, like blend the skin. I want to blend my skin now. So, Control Shift Alt E to create a stamp layer. Open my Beauty Retouch panel. Helps a lot. Then Shift the eight. Now to select my gushing blue radius. I want to choose a radius where I'll still have to retain my uh, details. So I think it is fine. It is perfect. So click OK. Let it play out. Like I said earlier, I've not edited this image. I'm just doing it. So everything is a um, is a uh, trial and error kind of stuff. So. I hope you understand. Then, control. So, pick up my uh, mixer brush. So, let's just jump right into it. Let's see how it goes.
So yeah, so this is before, this is the after, before, after. The reason why I made it subtle is because I don't want to lose my texture and make it look too airbrushed. So the next thing I'll do now is open my core um, dodge and burn curve spaniel to further smoothen the um, transitions. So, but before that, I'll still come here, pick my lasso to just to blend the transitions better. Filter, transition blur. Okay. So after doing that, I'll open my dodge and burn. Change this one to screen. That is for dodge. Then change the blending mode of this to multiply. Yeah. So now I want to all the areas where I couldn't touch well, that I could not blend well with my frequency separation is what I want to blend now with my dodge and burn. So I'll pick my normal brush set the flow to one you can turn on, turn on this visual head this is more like um local micro dodge and burn except i've already done my frequency separation on this one so let's just jump right into it then start painting areas you feel should be light so the thing can blend well the skin can blend well So before, after. So I'm okay now with where I am. This is beautiful. I've done my skin matching. So this is like my uh, micro dodging bone. So now I want to do my global dodge and bone. So I'll click this again. Wait for it to play out. Delete this. Oh, sorry. Yeah, delete this visual aid. Change the blending mode of this one to screen. Change this one to multiply. So, whenever I want to do my um, normal dodge and burn, my skin, my uh, global dodge burn, I'll switch off my FS um, layer and the micro DB because so I can have. I can know exactly where to dodge and where to burn. So let's do dodge first. But now I'll set my flow to three and start painting softly. The 
this side should be light. This side too should be light. This side. The lips. The lips. Okay, so I've done my dodge, my dodging, which I think is okay by the way. Then now my burn for the burning. Oh yes, this side. Okay, I think I'm good with the bun too. So now that I've done my dodge and bun, so I want to see how it looks like. So this is before, this is after, before, after. And this is nice, yeah, pretty nice. But I reduced my opacity to around 80. Yep. Before, after, before. Yeah, I think I like it. This is beautiful. Although my bun. I, I think I will have to extend it to this area. So, before, after. Yeah, perfect. This one should go 70. Before, after. Yeah. So now, the next thing I want to do is contouring with the jump on too. That one is pretty simple. Doesn't require painting or whatever. Click your do your dodge and burn curve setup again. Delete this. Rename this contouring. So open. Now this is what we'll do here. Change the blend the mode of this onto screen. Normally the mask is hidden. So now we press Ctrl I to invert double click on this dodge we'll be using this underlying layer drag this underlying layer until you get where you want the light to fall on and i think this is perfect yeah so alt to separate this click ok when you're done yeah this one also control i change the blend mode to uh multiply double click instead of dragging from this side to this side now you drag from here to this side where you feel your shadows are enough yeah i think the shadows are quite well here so alt to break then drag to the other side now come here now you go to your image apply image then click 
okay. So this is before, after, before, after, before, after. I just added more depth to the image. Although I'll have to reduce this to around 50, let's say 50. Yeah, perfect. This is beautiful for me. This is nice. My skin work is great. So this is where we started from. This is where we are now, before, after. So to image you kept, if I should zoom this in, you will see the textures are still same. This is where I started from. The textures and are still intact. So control zero to bring this out. So this is nice. This is nice. Now I just want to uh, sharpen the eyes. Yeah. So for that, I'll create a stamp layer. Control Shift Alt E. That's for Windows. On Mac, it should be Command Option Shift Alt E. So I go to Filter, Order, I Pass. I use a value of 10 all the time. Okay. Then change the blending mode to Overlay. Reduce the opacity to 50. Now I'll create an inverted mask. Or to create an inverted mask already, just a black mask, press Alt and mask to create this black mask. So I'll pick my brush now, set my flow to 100, set the size to the size of the eyes, size of my brush to the size of the eyes. Click once, reduce, click once, reduce, click once, reduce. So it will create a ripple effect. This is just to sharpen the eyes. Yeah, so this is before, after, before, after. So now, after doing that, I want to enhance this color, the color of this eyeshadow to bring it out more. So I'll pick, I'll create a new layer, a new empty layer, set the blending mode to color. Now use my color picker, that is Alt. to pick the color I think this is the color for this yeah this color okay. now I'll add more color to this yeah I think it's fine and click ok you can set the flow to 100 now just gently paint on the area Yes, I think this is it. This one is fine. We do the same for the other eyes too. So yes, this is before this is after now you can just reduce the opacity i think 50 will be nice for me yeah 50 is perfect so this is beautiful this is amazing this is perfect already we can stop here and we can also move further because Right now, I just want to smoothen the background. And I want to smoothen the background before I start any color grading issue. So, to smoothen the background, Ctrl Shift Alt E again, create a stamp layer. Duplicate the layer twice, Ctrl J. Then set this one to for convert for smooth filters. Close this. Select, pick, click on this layer. Select your polygonal lasso to then we want to bring out this image. Draw a line like this. Then 
edit fill content aware then click ok so we we'll we'll wait for that to play out so yeah this is where we are ctrl d to the select so now i'll go to my filter blur gaussian blur select the eye radius yeah something like this pretty then click ok so it's for it to so I'll turn this back on, go to filter, other hypers, then 0.5 is what I use mostly. It's just to add um, texture to the background so it won't look fake. But let me use 0.3 for this. Uh, yeah, 0.3. Then change it to linear lights. Shift. You clip, you have to clip this layer 5 copy 2 to layer 5 copy so how to clip it in you press alt bring your cursor to the middle of this layers then clip it in so now we just create a white mask layer on this pick your brush reduce the opacity to know exactly where you'll be printing on pick your brush set your brush to black flow 100 then start painting gently on the areas as that so group this control G before after before after yeah so I think it's more better now so now I want to grade this picture let me just let me group all this Minute. Retouch. This is where we started from. This is where we are now. Started from here. Here we are. So, one thing I've learned is a um, luminosity mask. I grade a lot with luminosity mask. So, I have I already have um, an action that I use on my luminosity mask. So I'll just click on it. Or oh, before then, create a stamp layer. Yeah, like that. And play the luminosity mask um, retouch action. I will leave this action in the description below for you guys to download. Although I did not create this. Um, action this action was created by Joey Dutch so after clicking on this limit um, luminosity action I want to try and bring out the brown skin to enhance the brown the brownness of our skin so I have this BS melanin action so that I use mostly so I'll just click on it and let it play out so yeah this is where we are this is before this is after so all I'll do now is reduce my opacity down to let's say 40 yeah then create a mask let's say 45 yeah so it's simple you can just select subject 
if you are using anything lower than CC 2018, you will have this option of select subject. Then, yeah, I can try it in value. So, before, after, it's just affecting the skin. Yeah, I think I have this brownness that I want. Yeah, beautiful. Before, after, before, after. So, yeah, I think this is amazing. Although I still want to work more on this asking. I'm going for something more darker. So I'll go to my area saturation, pick my reds, reduce the saturation of the reds a little. Yeah. Let's see. Minus five. Minus three is okay. And bring brown down the saturation. Yeah, so I have my dark skin melanin now yeah so this is before this is after but then i might just increase this a little let's say yeah like this is fine so this is before this is after yeah i think i'm fine with this then ctrl shift alt e to create a stamp layer now i'll take this into my camera raw filter for further grading because camera raw filter is what I use mostly for grading. So here we are inside camera raw filter. So I would like to increase my highlight. I don't we'll still come back to that though. Let me just drop it. Um I want the contrast to be sharp. The shadow should be sharp as usual. Like it was from the beginning. Yeah. Let's see, minus 10 is fine. Yeah. I want to add some vignettes. Yeah. Let's see, 15. Reflecting it, yeah. So, Wait. okay. So this is this was before the camera filter. This is after the camera filter. So now the next thing I want to do is bring out the highlights more. So I'll go into my luminosity masking basic. Click on the basic. Let's see. The, the selection as you give me i don't like the selection so i we click on this my plus to further increase the selection i think i want it more now no, that's more. okay yeah this is fine this is perfect so uh so what i'll do now is create curves adjustment layer yes curves take this up bring this down a little bit So yeah, I think I'm cool with this. I'm fine with this image like this. Although I might just add gradient map. Let's go gradients. Pick this color. Yeah. 
So let's just see what it gives. Hmm. Quite nice. I'll just reduce the opacity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is nice. Let's reduce this to around 20. 20 is quite nice for this. So create another one. Create another new layer. Pick this color. Let's see how it goes. No, I don't think I like this. I just want it more so to on this side. So I'll just reduce this now to perhaps eight. Yeah, this is before after. Yeah, so I think this image is fine like this. I like this image. This is beautiful. So I want to sharpen this image, then save for Instagram. So Ctrl Shift E to create a new a stamp layer. So I'll just let me group all this. Gradient. Create for this stamp layer. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's okay, I guess. Huh? Ctrl J again, then change this blending mode to soft light image adjustment black and white click ok then go into your image again adjustment brightness and contrast reduce the contrast to minus 50 click ok then go to filter other i pass now i don't use more than one Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is beautiful. I'm done with this image. Now I just place my embedded. Convert to profile, change to SRGB. Now I want to make it more sharper, like retain the sharpness on Instagram. So I will change my image size to 1080 because that's the normal accepted Instagram image size. So click OK. Yeah, this is still very much sharp, and I think I love this. Hmm. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. I like it. So basically that's all I do on this image. And I think I love the way it is now, except I might still have to do my some dodge and bone to correct some areas. So basically this is all I do on images.